Well, the robots have arrived, at least in Pasadena, California. That's where the world's first ever fully autonomous AI-powered restaurant has opened, complete with burger-flipping bots. We sent CBS's Joy Benedict on a taste test. Flippy the chef makes Spud spectacular. This automated grill gives the meat its sizzle as this restaurant goes robotic. For this burger, it would take about 120 seconds. Cali Express by Flippy is the world's first AI-powered eatery. There's new technology outside the kitchen, too. A cheeseburger. Order kiosks use facial recognition to remember you, your favorite food, and how you like to pay. Then watch the robots work, no humans required. We can't get enough people to come out to work on fryers and, and grills and their dangerous jobs. And this uh, automation helps solve a lot of those issues. Hello, I have someone. Sixty-two percent of restaurants report being understaffed. Industry experts say most of those unfilled jobs could be done by robots. And in California, where the minimum wage for most fast food workers will soon be $20 an hour, fewer workers equals cost savings. Dan Ives is with Wedbush Securities, a wealth management firm. Once the minimum wage went to 20, that's the bell going off. More and more focus on spending on AI. Because look, that's inflationary. That's the problem. You can't necessarily pass all that to the consumer. Flippy can cook 250 pounds of French fries an hour. The burger bought 100 patties. Now, these restaurants are very, very busy at peak times, and every second that gets added to somebody waiting in the drive-through is, is a lost revenue opportunity for that restaurant. Is it costing people their jobs? That's uh, not what we've seen. Um, uh, it's really here to, to help people. Humans at Cali Express will put the finishing touches on orders. For customers, the price of the meals are competitive. As for taste... Is it going to affect the quality and the taste? I would say yes, in a good way, because now each burger is being cooked precisely the same way every time. Time will tell whether AI takes over kitchens everywhere. That oh, no. will be up to the public to chew on. Oh, <laughs> Joy Benedict, CBS News, Pasadena, California.